All right, so now that all the tint is gone, we have to go through and take out the rest of the interior of the car. Uh, the SE 300 and 400 are known to be very heavy. They were luxury cars from Lexus, top of the line. Uh, so they have very heavy interiors from, well, this one has no seats, uh, but uh, the, the back panel here where all the speakers are, we have the interior, which is trashed from the center console, you know, floor, everything. The trunk has a lot of crap in the back. Um, so we're gonna go through and take everything out here to lighten the load and to prep things for eventually a cage and everything else. So the car is 23 years old and it shows the interior is trashed. It's, it's in really bad shape. You know, normally you'd want to go through and take every single bolt or screw out so you know where things are or where things go, but everything's going to be thrown away. I'll be keeping the seat belts, the upper dash panel, uh, the steering column obviously, and the gear shifter stuff, but everything else from speakers to any wiring or um, headliner, everything's gonna go, uh, you know, none of it's useful to me, so this should be fun. Now, some cars, when you remove the door card like this, the handle will stay on the door. But with this car, it did not do that. So what I'm gonna do is just take this part off of the door card, and then I'm just gonna put it back on here so I can still get in and out of the car. And now I've gotta reattach the lock and the handle. I'm not quite so sure what to do about this yet because I still want to have my power windows working. Um, I'm pretty sure the SC never came with a, a manual window option to you know lose weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this for now and I'll figure out how to do the power window stuff later on. This, however, I will not be needing. This is the power seat setting. So I can just rip this thing right out. Trash. Wow, that is, that is probably a good like five pounds right there. That is some serious weight savings between that and the speaker itself. That is, that's pretty gross. Yeah, that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> All right, I gotta figure out how to take this thing apart here.
I'm taking a quick break here to show just what I'm dealing with with this car and how disgusting it is. So this is the uh, center console here. It is full of cigarette ash. It's like someone was using this center console box here as their own ashtray. It was horrifying. You can see all the ashes there. It's really just disgusting. Uh, you know, along with the usual just trash and like old food pieces and uh, all this horrible disgusting stuff that this person, whoever the previous owner was that had this car just did not take very good care of it. it is, it's awful. Anyway, I'm gonna go through and just, uh, I think vac vacuum everything up. So, um, I mean, look at this stuff, awful. So I'm gonna go through and just do a quick vacuum to uh, get this thing, at least so I'm not sitting in somebody else's filth. took that little break. I can kind of sit in the car now and not feel like I'm going to get some kind of STD. Uh, so we can continue taking the dash out. Get rid of this crap, and this crap, and this, don't need this on here. Or this, or this, or this. I did find this, I wonder what's on here. Hmm. Seems once the uh, center console came out, everything came out pretty easily. So it's all coming out in like one big piece.
as you can see that just stripped right out so I'm gonna have to drill that one out fun And that's how you drill a stubborn bolt out. I'm going to keep these bolts around in case I use these points to mount a uh, harness in the future. So yeah, there's some definite wear on these bolts for the rear seat belts. Hopefully it's from a, uh, a confused audio guy trying to just install these uh, fantastic aftermarket uh, speakers here. Hopefully there's no damage anywhere. Let's see what we have in here. A bunch of crap. Which all has to come out. We have the original Lexus uh, head unit, it looks like. I have no idea if this still works. So here's the spare tire. It looks like it's uh, almost never been used before. It still has the paint from the factory in there. Um, it is a full-size spare being a, you know, a luxury vehicle. What's interesting is I think it's the original spare because the date on it, which is right here, where are you? So here's the date for the spare tire. The way that dates on tires worked before uh, the year 2000, um, they had three numbers. The first two numbers were the week of the year that the tire was made, and the last number is the year of the decade, which means this tire was made the 28th week of 1991 because it would be four numbers if it were after 2000, which means it was the decade before that, um, which is kind of crazy, which means this tire actually was made in 1991. And this thing is pretty heavy, so this alone is probably going to be like a 20, like a 25 pound savings on the uh, weight of the car. Now I don't know car audio, but this looks like this car has some kind of 90s uh, cell phone in there. Or I would at least think that, because that's kind of funny to me. Along with probably, I don't know, 20 pounds worth of uh, audio cabling, which I'll throw away.
I love how much dried macaroni is all over this car. It's actually hilarious. So the trunk is now empty and gutted. Uh, we'll see what I do for the fuel delivery system. This is the uh, fuel tank right here, which is kind of strangely mounted high above the uh, trunk, between the trunk and the rear seat. So I'm probably going to take that out eventually and put it in the fuel cell, but in the meantime it'll just stay where it is. Eventually I'll probably remove this um, indentation for the rear tire and put the fuel cell in there. Alright, so the carpet has joined the other pile of crap from the Lexus, which is growing. I mean, this has to be quite a bit of weight all by itself. Um, wow, that's a lot of stuff. So I guess I missed this little uh, visor guy, which is keeping the whole thing from coming down. But in my defense, I had no idea it was even there. Alright, so that's it for part one of the interior removal. Um, there's still some stuff left. We have the, uh, there's some stuff under the dash as well as a couple other uh, seat belts, computers, things that have Toyota stickers on them which seem important. Part two, we're going to be removing the sound deadening from the floor as well as the dashboard, steering column, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, sensors, wires, cables, all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. Thanks a lot. Uh, if you like, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it.